the Apple device here and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak 4.31 on iPad first generation, iPhone 3GS and 4, iPod Touch 3G and 4G. So you want to go go ahead and get started uh, and download these two files, your, your IPSW and Snowbreeze. This is a tethered jailbreak so every single time you turn off your device you have to go ahead and rerun iBooty. I'll show you what that is after I finish up. Once you've opened Snowbreeze, click OK, oh, close credits. Here you want to go ahead and just drag your IPSW file in it. I'll have all the downloads down below. Okay, once it's identified it, you're going to go ahead and hit next. Expert general and check off well every single device will have different features to check off you can go ahead ch choose the features you want I want battery percentage multitasking gestures and um, go ahead and get install working sub mobile sub preferences whatever yeah get this cause this will make winderboard to work and stuff like that so you need that once you're done you click next I was updating my iPhone iPod Touch right now, so next. Oh, whoops! I'll just go through it again. Build IPSW once you're at the screen, and then it's building it. No thanks. And once this is done, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so it finished. So now you want to go ahead. There's it. It will put iBooty on your desktop, so you want to go ahead and save this file, just put it on the side for now. Hit OK, and then it will be telling you a number of steps. So it's telling us right now to power off our device. You must be running on 4.31 to be able to actually jailbreak it. Because it is a restoring jailbreak, so... Uh, okay, power it off. Start. Just do pretty much what it says on the screen. Home and power for 10. Okay. When you hear the ding, you can just let go. Okay, it says you're done. Okay, if your device by any chance boots up after you've done that, you want to go ahead and hit right here iReb. After you click OK, credit, hit iReb and just redo the process until it doesn't boot up. Okay, open up iTunes now and you want to hit Shift, that key right there, restore. So shift, restore, and you want to find the file to restore to. Shift, restore, restore, and then I'll be back when it's done. And it just finished syncing or restoring, and I synced it up. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that I'm on 4.1. 4.31 4.31 right there and there's Cydia it'll just keep crashing on you you gotta go ahead and, and run boot iBooty select your device hit start Hitting the home and power button for 10 seconds. Now you just go ahead and let go. The power button, keep holding the home button. And now you just go ahead and wait. And it should be booting it up. Okay, 
You can now go ahead and unplug it. Doesn't matter. It can be plugged in. Sorry for the long wait. And you'll have to do this every single time when you turn off your device by any chance or if the battery dies. As you can see now, Cydia works. Developer. And I'm not connected to the Wi Fi, so yeah. Okay, so rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my website, and I'll go, I'll do a shout out to I Snow Leopard. This is, I'll, I'll have his channel down below. I Snow Leopard, he makes icons for your, twi for your Twitter or for your YouTube. What an icon is pretty much is that thing right there. And um, he went ahead and made me one. It's that kind of picture right there. So yeah, he went ahead and made me one, so yeah, as of right now, he makes them for free, so you can just go ahead and contact him if you want one, and tell him, tell him how, what kind of design you want and stuff, and he'll make you one, so okay. Rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my site, and I'll see you guys in my next video.